Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So a while back I repaired a Hammond Kardon surround receiver and the problem turned out to be a failed capacitor. So I replaced the capacitors and I have the failed one here. And the problem with this one is that it is short internally. So someone suggested back then that I should take this failed one apart and uh, see what the problem was. And I think I already have an idea, but uh, today we will take it apart and try to see if we can find the problem. So this is an aluminium electrolytic capacitor and it uh, is constructed something like this. We have two layers of aluminium inside where one of the layers is covered with an oxide. This oxide layer will prevent the metal inside this electrode from coming in electrical contact with any of the other components of the capacitor. And these two layers are rolled up into a spool like this. And they are dipped in an electrolyte. And they are put inside an aluminium tube like this and sealed in the end. So what I think is wrong is that something has been wrong with this oxide layer. So at one point the oxide have been removed and it could come into electrical contact with the other layer inside. And once there was contact it could make a spark or something like that and it would weld these two layers together somewhere inside. doesn't matter where. And now there is a permanent connection between the two layers and that's why it is shorted out. And this was able to blow the fuse inside the receiver, so that is how much current that actually went through it. So, let's try to take it apart and see if uh, we can see anything. And I'll try to cut this uh, top rim here and see if we can pull the insides out. I don't know if it is actually sealed down here, but we'll find out. So, if you ever run out of can openers, you've got your side cutters. And here it is. And I also forgot to say, as you can see here, there is a layer of plastic or wax paper or something in between these two electrodes. So, let's try to unroll this and then check if there is any shorts and I probably should get some gloves because this can be a little acidic and let's just uh, measure it again to see if the short has disappeared nope it is still there so hopefully we should be able to find something And so the first part is just paper, and here you can see we have the two electrodes. So the one is covered in paper on both sides it looks like. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually some tiny black dots on this, uh, this one here. So that could be the problem. I don't think it should look like that. But I kind of expected it to be like one big blob of gunk or something where this all have melted together. But it uh, doesn't look like it so far. But those dots are getting bigger now, so uh, it probably is the problem. And here is one of the contacts. 
Oh yeah, and here's some serious black spots. And the other contact. Oh yeah, here we have something that is indeed welded together. This part belonged over here, as you can see. The, these two dots here. The paper and everything is still stuck on this other electrode. So. There's a lot of dots on the back side here as well. And they are also visible on the other side here, but I don't I don't know if they have uh, caused any problem. And we have reached the end here. And here at the end there's also some black marks here. So that was actually a little disappointing. I have expected it to be much worse than this and there would just be one point where it had kind of welded three or four layers of this together. But, but uh, nope, there was only one place here where it had indeed welded together, but I don't know if all the other dots were making any problems, but... So, that was just a small teardown of a capacitor. I hope you liked it, even though there wasn't much interesting inside, just a pile of aluminium foil and a, a can and some paper and some electrolyte. But I'll try to measure this up, there's a, a good length of it, so I'll put a note about how much foil was in here, but uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So, see ya! And uh, I don't know if this actually came up on the video while I unrolled it, but I missed uh, a point here. It have actually welded through near the end here. So that's only about 20 centimeters, half, 30 centimeters from the end. There's a hole through this uh, coated one, and there is a hole through the paper. And there is some damage to the other electrode as well. I think it's me who tear it apart like this, but. There was indeed some damage to this, so... I think these are just some very, very, very bad capacitors, and I think you should avoid them. So, I can just show you a picture of... Uh, one of the other ones that I didn't pull the labeling off. And, I mean, it's not because it's used that much, and... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's dried out or something, this is just soaking wet still. You can see the paper here has also got some electrolyte on it. Anyway, I measured up about two meters of foil, so that's what inside one of these. So the capacitor I just took apart was uh, identical to this one. And it is only 85 degrees Celsius rated though, so I don't know, it could just be one, but I've heard of more of those Simon Carlin receivers that have gone poof, so I don't know. Mm, I wonder how they got that in there in the first place. Mm, nah, not gonna fit in there. I don't think there's any reason to see if we fix the problem anyway, so I think I'll just throw it out. 
see ya.